All right, welcome back to another SQLite video. Today we're going to talk about how do I insert data using a SQL statement into our SQLite database. If you don't know anything about SQL syntax, don't worry, we're going to go over that in this video. And if you also like this video, don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss any future videos. We're going to continue on with our SQLite series, so you can stay tuned for that as well. And where we left off, we created a table called people. And here are all the columns we specified. We have an ID, we have first name, last name, their email, and their age. And for us to insert into this table, notice that first name, last name, email, and age, and ID, since it's a primary key, cannot be null. So each one of these columns is going to require a value. And so let's say we want to insert a person and their data into this database. We're going to write up an insert statement. So syntax is pretty easy. Uh, it goes like this. So we have insert into whatever table we're going to insert that data into, and then in parentheses, all of the different columns that we're going to insert data into, into that particular table, and then the values of those columns. So for instance, if column one was first name, we'd put first name here, and then John maybe as value one. But it'll probably make more sense when we do it. So let's go back to our DB browser for SQLite. And in this tab here, we have execute SQL. So just like we saw uh, syntax wise, we're going to say insert into people because the table name is people. And then in parentheses, what are all the columns that we're going to populate? And if we remember, there is first name, last name, email, and age. I'm going to leave ID out because when we set up this table, we set ID as auto increment. I want to show you what that does. So really, I'm just going to enter values for first name, last name, email, and age. So first name is going to be column one, last name, and nice enough for us, DB browser for SQLite has some suggestions. So we don't even have to type the whole thing. We can just type part of it and it'll suggest last name, which is what we want, email, and age. So those are the columns that we're going to add data to for this particular row that we're inserting. What are going to be the values? Well, in parentheses, we put those as well. So the first name in quotes, we're going to put John. Last name, uh, Smith. Email is also in quotes, since it's a varchar, js at gmail.com. And lastly, their age, which is an int, so we don't need to put in quotes. I'm going to put 29. So as you would probably expect, first name is going to be the first value. Last name is the second value, email is the third, and age is the last one, because that's how we specified the order in which we're placing those values. So now that our SQL statement is written, we can go ahead and hit this play button right here, and it'll execute that SQL statement. And down below, we can see result query executed successfully, it took eight milliseconds, one row affected, which is what we expect because we just added one row. So now if we go back to the browse data tab and we look at this table, notice we have John Smith, that email address I gave him and the age. Now, one thing to note, when we wrote this SQL statement, we didn't put an ID. And I mentioned auto increment will take care of that for us. And it starts at one. And if we add another one, it'll increment accordingly. So if we add, let's just go ahead and do that, a new person. So maybe Sally Thomas, and then her email is ST and she is 35 years old. Notice what happens when we insert another record, the auto increment will have an ID of two. And it makes it nice because we don't have to worry about, okay, well, what's the next ID in the sequence? And keep that in mind, auto increment really just takes care of that for us. Okay, so that's how you can easily insert data into a SQLite database using the DB browser for SQLite that we've been using throughout these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.